February 24, 1969. It's just in. The Supreme Court is now in deliberation over the case of Tinker v. Dame Way. I'm here with John and Mary Tinker, the petitioners in this case. Would you two care to explain, in your own words, the circumstances surrounding this case? In 1965, some of the people in our town got together and decided that they wanted to protest against the Vietnam War. Our parents were some of those people. They decided to wear these black armbands for the rest of the holidays and to fast on December 16th and New Year's Eve. We wanted to protest with our parents and so did our friend Christopher. John, Chris, and I decided to wear the armbands too. Our principals heard about our plan and we were afraid we would start a disturbance and distract kids from learning. So they made a school policy against it. Mary and I still wore, still wore our armbands on December 16th and Chris wore his the next day. It suspended all of us and told us not to come back until we'd agreed not to wear the armband. And we didn't go back until after New Year's. Why do you think they suspended you? The principal said they didn't want us to protest because a former student from my school had recently been killed in Vietnam and a lot of his friends were still there. Some of the students even threatened to wear armbands of a different color to support the war. They wanted to avoid all the conflict. So what did you do about it? Our parents helped us file a lawsuit against them in district court. And what was the decision there? They agreed with the school and said that the school had the right to prevent a disturbance, but we weren't causing a disturbance. We still felt the policy violated our freedom of speech, which is the First Amendment, and on November 12th of last year, our case made it to the Supreme Court. And we're waiting for the decision now. Well, thank you very much for your time. Stay tuned for the court's decision. The Supreme Court has ruled in favor of the Tinkers. There was a majority vote of 7 to 2. Let's look at some exclusive interviews with two of the justices on the case. I am just a Hugo Black. I was one of two dissenting votes. The First Amendment does not give you the right to say anything, anywhere, anytime, or to disobey school rules. You should be allowed to prevent students from certain things that could be just hurtful. I am Justice Abe Fortas. I voted for the Tinkers because I believe students should have the right to free speech just like adults do. Also, the school couldn't give a solid explanation as to why they felt the armband would interfere with teaching. They in no way were trying to cause a disturbance. It was a form of symbolic speech which is allowed by the First Amendment. It could hardly be argued that either students or teachers shed their constitutional rights to freedom of speech or expression at the schoolhouse gate. How do you two feel? We feel great. We just successfully made it clear to everyone that students have rights like adults do and don't have to give them up when, when they go to school. What do you think will result from this case? I think schools will allow more freedom of speech for students and the students will realize that yes, we have the right to speak our opinion. After what we've accomplished, I think kids will understand that yes, we can make a difference. Mr. Underwood. What do you we think? love you. We love you. Love you. Awesome Mr. Future Underwood. ever. 3D, 3D hearts.